morning guys it is March 27th and it's been a while since I post anything um, I've got footage from snow removal and stuff but I just don't want to to be honest it's nothing too exciting so um, we're just gonna catch up on the vlog and get you guys current and now I've got time to edit vlogs since we like I said a lot's been happening since I closed up the laundromat shut down the laundromat here and many of you guys know or as you know we bought a lot bought an embroidery business embroidery business and so we're trying to grow that and we've been looking for buildings to buy and purchase and all this stuff to, um, to expand the embroidery business we couldn't find any and so I made the decision to let go of this laundromat business and I'll go into details why I did that but uh, I, we just sold the equipment um, sold the equipment and we are gonna move the embroidery business in here yeah so I'm gonna go into more details um, as the day progress and as the week goes by I'll give you guys an update Whoa. What was my thought process behind the, this thing? So, um, as you can see, normally it's open, but it's all closed right there. Done for now, done, closed, out of business. And so, yeah, I'll go into detail more about that, but a lot been happening, you guys, a lot been happening. And today is March 27th, it's the Wednesday, the guys are in here getting the getting all the equipment ready, rewiring the trailer um, lights just because it needed to be. The lights wasn't working properly, and so that's what they're doing today. And then I've got to get back to the embroidery shop. Um, head over. I'm going to take you guys later on today to go back to the embroidery shop and give you guys a walkthrough of our current location now and everything uh, many of you guys probably seen it before or you some of you guys seen it right here on YouTube but um, I'm gonna walk through the process of what we're doing over there now um, a lot has changed especially over there as well and so it's been a learning experience for me guys for the last couple months um, personally and business wise and so I'm gonna take you guys along in this journey and get keep you guys posted updated um, to the current situation of what we're up to and everything but I feel like vlogs that I've been pump, vlogs that I've been pumping out um, it's just it's when it's not current it's not it's not as enjoyable to watch Look at that. that's the highest it's been you guys So still got my bait shop going. Because it's all got the... We're just going to tap 
motor should be good. It's just the finding the right wire. Because the signal and stuff wasn't working. So all these equipment have been stored in here all winter and the guys are gonna wake it up. We got the new Bobcat, you guys. Bobcat Predator Pro 7000 right there. And we got the quick cat, we got the Ryan aerator and Predator old Predator Pro back there. And so Yeah, lots going on, lots going on. Spring is coming quick you guys, it's coming quick. The season the season's gonna be season is here. We're gonna be swamped from embroidery to landscaping and everything. We're gonna be hiring some more people. Oh Michael, here's the quarters. Yeah, check everything, change oil and everything. Wash everything up so it's nice. Oh wash that so or somehow put that on a pallet or something. And we could just wash it here or take it with you when you go to with the skid or something. Put it in a bucket. <laughs> So we are in the shop and this morning the gals are shipping stuff out. Who's that for? Which one's in this box over here, Brittany? Is it the little bit up to the top? Daniel Bean. Cancel. Cancel that because then it's gonna, gonna show, show that, we that we shipped, shipped it. it. Avoid it. Is that this one? No. When was that printed today? Well, she tried yesterday, but that's when the printer ran out of ink. Alright, so this is what we got going on in the shop, guys, right now. We got shipping right there. Production over here. Brittany's running up a sample and we have all of our client on the list here with all the embroidery filed right there when the order comes in we print it put it in these files and we got order sitting here we're waiting on some more hats so this is this is our printing station, We're cutting the decals, vinyl heat transfers. As you can see, it is, it's not much room here. here. And this is where our heat transfer work is done on this area. Breeze cutting up to all the. Here's what we got, guys. So it's a screen print heat transfer. Eliminates us having to deal with the ink and all. So she's cutting that up for. This is for landscape supplies. I'll show you. Right here. Our hats. We got a bunch of hats over here. As you can see, we got hats. The cold over here. More hats. More hats here. This is shipping here. Amy's checking shirts, making sure that it's not doesn't have any defects on them. We sent what five, six back nine, yesterday. Nine, nine, I think. nine back. But these are a different brands, so I'm hoping we don't have it. these won't have it. So we are gonna move out of this place hopefully in three weeks get everything revamped at the laundromat and the people that purchased the
equipment are coming tomorrow I think around noon and coming in and taking everything out so by the end of tomorrow we should have everything out of the laundromat and ready to demo and renovate the laundromat for what is gonna be the home of the daily hustle so, yeah. all right so the guys got the too muddy what's we'll just leave them here then that's too muddy back there yeah. Yeah, it's, the guys are trying to get to the pallet as it's all muddy there to get in. Plus, our back of the laundromat is so flooded. So, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. They fit all right? Good? Man, got the lights on. Oh, yeah. Man, simple fix. Yeah. So the guys are getting all that ready. The equipment guys coming today. Not all. They're gonna unhook everything, so they don't have to take long tomorrow. So. They must just just be staying here. That if they're coming this late. Yeah, I think so. Two of his guys, I guess. Yeah. This is it. I'm cleaning out the machines, taking all the money out of it, all the coins. And I know the the people that were going to buy it or come get the machine, um, they were going to come tomorrow, but they decided they're, they're going to come today and hook up, unhook everything that they need to, and then tomorrow they'll take it all out. And so that is the game plan. Yeah, shoot. They need they need the forks. Hey Pan! Michael, they're gonna need the fork for their their thing. They ain't gonna be able to get in there. I'm gonna try you. Go, yeah, go use one of those or something or I'm gonna try to use maybe the, the, the mini X. Yeah, mini X or MT. Maybe. Try the MT. The mi I'm thinking the Mini X because it's got the arm. Shoot, yeah, the guys are going to need to use the forks. I wonder. I forgot all about that. That arm will be close, don't you think, to reach it? Yeah, just take that and freaking reach it. Oh, I forgot they need our, the people that are coming, they need our, uh, skid loader and our forks to load up the trailer so Michael's gonna go over there and see where we can load it up and sort of get it with the e E20 so let's head over there So we're gonna have to get in there to get the fork. It's a little muddy, but we're hoping that E20 can get in there and reach it.
You're digging in, Michael! There you go! Michael. We got it, we got it. Oh man, they're coming already. They're right there. The people that are gonna come get the machines is here. So Yeah, we'll find something. I don't yeah. know, is there a good, reputable no bugs place in town? Yeah, you better do the American English. Uh, I think it's good American English. Don't yeah. do that econo Lodge. Yeah. One of them is reported online as having bed bugs. Like, yeah, that's the econo Lodge. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's bad. Was the Super 8 okay? Super 8. Or yeah, Super 8's okay. Yeah, yeah. that American. Yep. Yeah. Is this a business open right here? That's my ours too. Okay. We're gonna really tear yeah. up, take up a lot of space here. We'll move everything for you. Yeah, you guys can just pull right up. Or we're, whatever yeah. you have to. Yeah, just so we can. Yeah. You know, mainly we're gonna spend most, a lot of the day probably disconnecting, disconnecting. and loosening okay. up. To the, then I don't know if we're gonna work tonight. If, okay. if you feel like giving us a key so we can lock the door when we go to the motel. Yeah. Or okay. whatever. Because well, I'll close you know, it up. Gonna, we might just as well work a while. And yeah. All right, guys. So they are unhooking everything. They are here, starting to take up all of these tops, moving it all out, clearing. Got another trailer coming, huh? Or no? Uh, Jeff's coming I, either late today or in the morning. Okay. So and then uh, one more trailer. But if we okay. can get a load of these to go right. to scrap, well, then we can make it. Otherwise, I might have to leave ten of them out here and come get them when they're close. <laughs> I think he gets more quarters. More quarters? Man, that's some toxic feelings. Yes, that stinks. And we're not plumbers, man. Ah. Oh. Here. This doesn't even open up. Here, now we're starting to move the equipment out, you guys. Slowly, it's going away. There. Slowly, it is getting out. Now we're gonna call Jeff and have him. Getting it all out, guys. Getting it all out. Yeah. So, it's a sad day, but it's got to go. My, our only main concern is getting this pad out. We'll have to see. Yeah, plumbers coming in, cutting all that, capping it. But we gotta get this pad out first. Look at how dirty this is. Isn't it? In a way, I am glad that I'm gonna be done with this phase or this chapter of our business. It's been one of those things that's always been on the back of my mind that I really wanted to get out of. Though it made some money, um, it's just something I'm not, I'm not excited about, 
you know, doing. And so, it's like almost, a, it's sad, but it's a big relief, you know, it's letting go of something that's always been, um, always thought, I just didn't enjoy it, you guys, really didn't enjoy it. It, it served its pur purpose the last eight, nine years, and I'm glad I did do it, you know, eight, nine years ago, but now we're at a point in our life and a stage of business where it's, it's time to move on. And I do hope somebody in Jackson picked these machines up or, you know, I don't know, or maybe not even this machine, but um, just starts one up, you know, for the sake of the community. But for me, it's time to move on. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there'll be somebody that starts one up. And so, yeah, you guys, thought I'd, it's been a long day. And like I said, uh, I'm going to, one of these days, I'm going to sit down and just explain my thought process on everything that had been happening. And so much has happened, you guys, in this last, this last few, few months. You know winter season and stuff and I haven't vlogged much but I, I, my focus is to get back on vlogging that's what I enjoy doing that's what I love creating and sharing a little piece of this um, this thing that we've got going on you know I think I think that a lot of us a lot I know a lot would trade to be in my place to own this thing. I know, it's it's always like, but it's for me personally, it's time to move on. And um, I just wanna capture all of this as it's happening. So, show you guys. And, oh yeah, you guys, on, on, no, on another note, see this hat? It says Daily Hustle with the Bobcat Moors. This is going to be the new hat we're handing out. Um, we're, we're going on tour, and I'll put the link down below, the dates and the, the locations of where we're going. So Bobcat's sponsoring this tour for us. And it all started last year, last, last, yeah, last spring. And we toured then, and now we're going to continue the Midwest tour. Maybe one day I'll be on the East Coast. East Coast or the down south, you know. I don't know California if they have any bobcats or not, but I'd love to visit everywhere. So, those hats you guys were handing out, so you, you have to be there. So, check the link down below and let me know you guys' thoughts. Am I crazy? Am I just. What? Am I nuts? Am I. Is it a good, good uh, business move? Let me know in down down in the comment down below there. So, all right, guys, that's it for today, and I'm gonna get back onto my hopefully normal vlogging. So, all right, later.